Okay, so we're going to start by looking at the whole concept of through monitoring and how to set up your audio interface correctly to work with this through monitoring technique. Okay, It's really important that we understand the concept of through monitoring because without it we can't do any advanced recording techniques in Logic. Okay, So, the concept of through monitoring and how to set up your audio interface correctly to work with that technique. Well, of course, we start by installing the audio interface itself. Most people will be using a USB interface, but you might have a Thunderbolt interface. Possibly you've got an older Mac and a Firewire interface, or even you might be using an old Mac Pro and a sound card. But whatever the interface is, you install it. In the case of a USB one, that simply means plugging it in on a Mac. And then sometimes the audio interface will come with a little control applet that needs to be installed. A typical control applet is a little box that pops up when you open it and on it you'll see um, the inputs and outputs of the interface in the form of a little miniature mixer and also all the options will be there for the interface like options to turn the phantom power on or off for mic inputs options to change the level of line inputs things like that okay so install the physical interface and any control applet that comes with it and then once that's installed we boot logic and we come here to preferences audio and in the Devices tab here, in the Input Device slot and the Output Device slot, we choose our audio interface. I'm using the Scarlett Solo. Core audio should be ticked, leave all this here as it is, and finally we set the buffer size to 32 samples, apply changes, the interface is initialised and it's ready to go. Now if you start doing some test recordings and you get cracks and pops, you've got a problem. Okay. I own lots of different interfaces for Windows and Mac machines. All of them work flawlessly at 32 samples on even quite large projects. If you get cracks and pops at this lowest setting, just doing basic test recording, you've got a problem. By all means, come back and try 64 samples, apply changes, try some more test recording, but if you're still getting cracks and pops, you need to stop right there and get this problem fixed. Okay, Any interface should work at either of these settings. We need a low setting of 32 or 64 samples to do the technique of through monitoring properly. And if you can't work to just do basic recording at either of these rates, there's no point going any further because you're just going to get into more problems when you start working on larger projects. So if you've got a problem with cracks and pops at either of these settings, contact the manufacturer, get this problem fixed. I'm going to set my interface to 32 samples, put a buffer size, apply changes. And it's done. Okay, now there's one last thing to do, and this is really, really important. Your audio interface must be set so that direct monitoring is turned off. And if direct monitoring is turned off, then that means if you plug a mic into one of the inputs of the interface, turn up the volume level so you're getting a good signal at that mic input on the meter, if you then sing or talk into the mic at the outputs of the interface, whether it's the speaker or the headphone outs, you should not hear that microphone. Okay? That's correct. That's direct monitoring turned off. Now, a lot of units will have a physical switch to do that on the actual unit. In the case of the Scarlet Solo, the uh, direct monitor switch is on the front here, and you just switch it to the off position. In the case of the M-Track 8, you just turn the control pot all the way clockwise to USB. Now direct monitoring is off. So find out how to turn direct monitoring off for your interface. If there isn't a switch on the unit to do that, then the option to turn direct monitoring on or off will be in the little software app that comes with the unit. Find out how to do it. Turn off direct monitoring. And again, when direct monitoring is turned off, that means anything you plug into the inputs of the interface will not be heard at the outputs of the interface. That is correct. Direct monitoring is off. That's how it should be. So the interface is set up with direct monitoring off. In Logic, we've set up our interface here with the lowest sample buffer size, or at the least 64 samples. Um, we're ready to go. OK, so now let's look at the whole concept of through monitoring and how it works in Logic.